every day it gets closer, I start thinking more and more and tell myself, hey, I'm gonna, <laughs> in a couple of weeks, I'll be teeing off on number one at the Masters. Playing in the Masters is every golfer's dream, but for Matias Dominguez, getting to this point almost never happened. So if I quit it with golf, then I would have, maybe I would have looked back and say, hey, I should have, maybe I should have kept going, I should have given it a try. Last season, Matias found himself at his lowest point in his career. Entering his senior season, he had yet to win a collegiate tournament, and his love for the game was fading fast. He uh, just felt like that a little bit of the passion was gone. His play was, you know, not where he wanted to be, and he puts in so much work. When he wasn't seeing the fruits of his labor, he came to a crossroads, deciding whether the sport he had once loved so much had a place in his life anymore. It was all about, like, uh, what's going to be best for me. No, I, that's the point when you got to actually think for yourself and be selfish somehow and say, what's going to be, what, what are you going to be more happiest with? And after a long look in the mirror, Matias gave golf another chance. I think he just finally got to the point where he's like, hey, if this doesn't work out, that's fine, but I'm going to do my best and, and, uh, and look at it more as a game and, and play the game like I know how to do it. Am I good enough? Do I belong on the professional level? These were all questions Matias Dominguez asked himself last season when he wasn't posting the scores he knew he was capable of. And after talking with his coach and his family, he reignited that passion for golf. He certainly found his answer. Yeah. A victory it is from Matias Dominguez and on to Augusta National. In March, Dominguez saw all of his hard work and his new attitude return dividends, capturing the inaugural Latin American Amateur Championship and consequently punching his ticket to play in the Masters. I had a good talk with people that is close to me and we realized, I mean, we've been working for golf, uh, to play golf my whole life, so how about we kind of give it a try and then if you really don't like it, at least you can say, I tried it and then you can continue doing something else, but um, that's, what I, that's what I did, and, and it actually paid off. <laughs> I mean, when winning that tournament, actually, you, it was winning the lottery, I would say. Since then, it's been, I think he's enjoyed the game a little bit more. It's taken some pressure on him, off him to, to not necessarily know that I've got to play this game for a living down the road. And he plans to take that same carefree, nothing to lose attitude with him when he tees it up Thursday at Augusta National. I'm gonna be there just to give the best of me. Hopefully I can enjoy the most and no, no more expectation besides making the cut or, or having fun. For Red Raider Nation, I'm Andrew Doak.